Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'm going to install a free plugin which will help you integrate the Instagram feeds on your WordPress website. So if you have an Instagram account and if you want to show the Instagram feeds on your WordPress website, you can use this free plugin. Let me show you an example. This is the grid layout of the Instagram feeds. So these are the sample feeds. If I click on it, it will open in a pop-up box and it will start playing the video. You can fully customize the layout. You can change the color combination. You can also create different layouts. For example, here we have Instagram feeds in a carousal or you can say a slider. And this slider can also be fully customized. You can change the number of columns to be displayed in a carousal. You can create feeds from the hashtag also. The name of the plugin is WP Social Ninja. This plugin has free as well as the pro version. I'll start with the free plugin and later I'll install the pro plugin also. And I'll show you what is the difference between the free and the pro plugin. This plugin is not only for the Instagram feed. You can also integrate Google reviews, Airbnb, Amazon, Yelp, Facebook, AliExpress, Facebook feed, Twitter feed, YouTube feed, Instagram feed. You can also create social chat such as Messenger chat, WhatsApp chat, Telegram chat. So this plugin is a kind of all-in-one social platform for your website. So in this video, I'm going to work on only the Instagram feed. In the upcoming videos, I'll work on the social reviews as well as the Facebook or Twitter feed and the social chat. And if you want to buy this plugin, I'll give you the link in the description box. You can use my link. So let's see how we can show the Instagram feeds on your WordPress website using the free plugin. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips, and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website. And now I'm going to install a free plugin which will help you show the Instagram feeds on your WordPress website. So let's go to plugins and click on add new plugin. And here search for WP Social Ninja. So this is the plugin that we are going to install WP Social Ninja best social feed reviews plugin for WordPress. So you can also show Google reviews, photo feeds, chat and more. So click on install now and click on activate. All right, so the plugin is installed and in the left hand panel, you will see the option WP Social Ninja. Click on it and you will see the dashboard. These are the widgets that are available. You can see in the free plugin, you have YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Google Business Profile, and Airbnb. So you can integrate all these widgets on your WordPress website. The other widgets such as Yelp, TripAdvisor, Amazon, AliExpress, Booking.com, Facebook, and WooCommerce are part of Pro Plugin. So in this video, we are going to work on how to show the Instagram feed on the WordPress website. In the upcoming videos, I'll cover the other features such as YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Google reviews. So let's go to the Instagram option here. Click on the setting option. And first it will ask you to connect your Instagram account. So click on continue with Instagram. First, you will need to log into your Instagram account. So I'm going to log into one of the Instagram accounts. All right, so here I'm logged into the Instagram account. It will ask you to grant the permission to WP Social Ninja to your Instagram account. So I'm going to click on allow. And now it will go back to your WordPress dashboard. So your Instagram account is linked with your WordPress website. And you will see it here. If you want to add another account, if you want to add multiple Instagram accounts, you can click on add more account. Now here you will see an option, add a new template, click on it. So now we are going to create a template for the Instagram feeds. So this is a general template. You will see the name of the Instagram account. Currently, there is no image for this account. And in the right hand side, you will see the settings. So you can connect user account or if you have a pro plugin, you can connect hashtag also. For the hashtag, you will need business account. This is personal account. So I won't be able to show you how to connect or how to use the hashtag, but you can use it with your business account. Here you will see a user. So if you have multiple users, you can select the user from the drop down. Click on fetch feeds and it is going to fetch the feeds. Then you have an option here, layout, grid, 
carousal or masonry the other two options are only for the pro plugin so for the template we have two different templates here this is the first one and this is the second one so you can select one of these templates so i'm going to select the first one and here you will see number of columns so you can change the number of columns let's make it four columns and you can also change the gap between these columns then we have filters ascending order how many posts do you want to show so currently it is set to 50 posts and you can upgrade to pro to display unlimited instagram post post order will be ascending type of post you can select videos only or images only all right so there is no image so you can select all posts and it will show all the post if you want to sort by a hashtag you can add the hashtag however for that you need pro plugin so these are the options available in the pro only post open post in instagram or inline or you can also use pop-up so when you click on it it will go to instagram and it will open it from there or you can select inline so it will be shown on the page only display caption so you can display caption or if you do not want to show the caption in this template you will be able to see the captions and all those things let's select this one if i disable the caption you will see that the caption is disabled display likes count that is also the part of pro plugin shoppable feed is again for the pro plugin header if you want to disable the header this is the header you can disable it or enable it display the profile photo if you do not want photo you can disable it so these are the enable and disable options you can disable the name full name first name bio box everything can be customized from this option currently the account that i have linked with this website does not have that much information and these options are for the pro you can also change the image that is for the pro you can customize the bio text follow button if you want to add follow button you can add the follow button however that is also for the pro plugin pagination is there so you can add pagination also all right now let's save the template all right so the template is saved and this is the short code that you can use to show the feed on the page i'm going to copy the short code now let's go to pages and we will add this on one of the pages Right, let's create a new page here i'm going to create a new page and let's name it as sample and i'm going to select short code now if you're using third party page builder such as elementor or any other page builder you need to look for the short code and enter the short code there let's click on publish and let's click on view page and you will see that the instagram feeds are added on the page now if i go back and I can change the template from here save it let's refresh it and you will see the new template is added so when i move the cursor you will see the information if i click on it it will open in another window all right so if i go to style this is available only for the pro version so i do have the pro version of this plugin so i'm going to install pro version so let's go to plugins and click on add new plugin I have it downloaded so I'm going to upload the plugin click on activate plugin all right now let's go to WP social ninja all right so we are on the dashboard now at the top you will see these options platforms reviews testimonials templates notification pop-up and chat widget so these are the basic features that you will get with this plugin now all these platforms are available because we have installed the pro plugin so let's go back to templates here we have created one template that is for the instagram template let's go to edit section and now you will see that the style option is available i'm going to enable it and let's go to header section this is the header section you can customize the header section from here text color let's change the text color you can also change the typography statistics change the color this is the number you can also change the colors full name you can change the name you will see that the follow on instagram option is also available now you can also change the background color 
All right, so it is fully customizable. Change the color of the hashtag, statistics, icon color, pagination color, or item box. Let's go to general settings. Let's go to templates. And if I scroll down, you will see other options are also available. Grid, carousal, masonry. I'll create another template to show you how to use the carousal or the masonry filters. Now you will see that all the pro options are available. Now I'm going to select open in a pop-up box. All right, so when someone clicks on it, it will open in a pop-up box. So it will not go to Instagram website. It will open in a pop-up box. Shoppable field, you can enable. If the product is shoppable, there will be a link. Display shoppable icon. Right now, these products are not shoppable, so it's not going to show any icon there. Pop-up box, these are the pop-up box settings. Header, you will see the header settings. Display profile photo. Now, if you want to customize, if you want to add a custom photo, you can simply browse the photo or the image. Let's use this one. And you will see that the image is added here. And you can also add custom bio text. All right, so this is the custom bio text. Follow button, you will see the follow button option here. This is the button text follow on Instagram. You will see it here, pagination. All right, now let's save it. Let's go back to sample page and refresh it. And you will see the changes here. If I click on it, it will open in a pop-up box. So this is how the pop-up box works. All right, now let's create a new template. Let's go back to templates here and click on add new template. And this will be for the Instagram. So I'm going to select add Instagram template. Here, I'm going to change the name, Instagram template carousal, whatever name you want, you can add the name there. And I'm going to change the template let's make it carousal so this is how to look if i go to filters you will see the filters again the same filters post and a new option is available here for the carousal autoplay number of slides to show and number of slides to scroll let's make it two space between you can also add the space between these items so currently it is set to 10 pixel navigations will be dots or you can also add arrows and dots let's make it arrows and dots header this is for the header again same thing let's add icon there now let's do one thing we are not going to show the header so let's disable the header here and save the template let's copy the short code go back to the sample page and let's add short code again update it let's go back refresh the page and you will see the slider is added at the bottom so this is the carousal if i click on it it will go to the instagram website let's change that let's make it open in a pop-up box save it let's refresh it now if i click on it it will open in a pop-up box so there are three different layouts that you can use to show the instagram feeds on your wordpress website the first one is the grid layout the second one is the carousal and the third one is the masonry layout if i go here you will see it here so if i change it to masonry it will use the masonry layout however all these videos are of the same size so that's why it's not showing any difference there so i can use the carousal so you can create multiple templates and you can show the instagram feeds on your wordpress website and the plugin is available for the free and if you want to upgrade to the pro version this is the website wpsocialninja.com if you want to buy the plugin i'll give you the links in the description box you can use my link so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.